Hi everyone and welcome back. I've driven over 200,000 kilometers on Cooper tires and today I'm going to share with you my real life experience with these tires, literally driving them all around the globe in the most extreme environments and all sorts of terrains. I will be talking about the differences and specifications of the Cooper Discoverer STT Pro, ST Max and AT34S. If you are new to this channel, my name is Aldo, I'm an overlander, an adventure traveler and together with my wife Vera, we have literally circumnavigated the globe in this self-converted expedition vehicle. For the next couple of years, we will be driving to and explore Africa. If you'd like to find out more about us, I'm gonna link your video up here. This video is not sponsored by Cooper Tires, I didn't get paid to make it. And although they provided us two of the three set of tires mounted so far, they don't get to see this video or approve it before I publish it. So I took a seat because I've got a lot to tell you. The first set of tires that we mounted were five Discoverer STT Pro back in 2016. We were advised by a friend mechanic that goes each year to Morocco Rally. With that set of tires, starting from the UK, we drove all the way down to Australia, passing through Russia and all Southeast Asia. We then shipped our car to Uruguay in South America and drove all the way down to the southernmost drivable point on Earth in Ushuaia, Argentina. We made a U-turn and then explored the whole of South America, Central America and Mexico with it. Right at the end of the final stage of the useful life, we also managed to drive through all the western parks of USA, including California, Nevada and the deserts of Utah. We drove on all sorts of terrains with these tires. Sun, mud, gravel, snow, rain, everything. Ranging from minus 18 Celsius in Siberia up to plus 52 in Australia. With this set, we totaled 81,000 miles. That is over 130,000 kilometers. Well, to be more precise, 81,056 miles today. And we did all of this with the same set of tires, the Cooker Discoverer STT Pro. And we only sustained two punctures. We drove on some epic roads, notorious for their difficulties. The Gibb River Road in Australia, Fraser Island, Tanami Desert, also the Death Road in Bolivia and the infamous Trans-Amazonian Road in Brazil. The STT Pro are mud terrain tires and they are designed to be driven 70% off-road and 30% on the road. They boast several technologies and patents. One of them is the Armor Tech that is basically a cage within the rubber. The STT Pro are light truck tires. That means that they have some extra layers to be more tough. These are actually the most advanced and aggressive off-road tires that Cooper Tire produce. The side walls are quite pronounced and they are excellent for rock climbing and mud. So depending on the type of off-road that you do, this may be a good choice if you use your vehicle to go for weekend trips playing in the mud with your friends. The STT Pro are excellent on any terrain. They perform really, really well. However, they are the worst of the three models we tried to drive on sand. Because of the space between the tread, your car will sit literally a little bit lower on the sand. They are also the heaviest at almost 25 kilograms for our size, so this means that you will burn more fuel to drive on it. I must confirm that the rubber is really strong. Other than the mileage we covered, on a couple of occasions we found some screws in it and just by taking them out with the screwdriver I could see that the hole was disappearing so we didn't puncture the tire. Despite these few downsides, the STT Pro will always have a special place in our heart because they did take us to some remote places and out of there, always. And because of this, in 2019, in occasions of a trade show, we got in touch with Cooper Tires to thank them for such an incredible product. And by sharing our story, they were so chuffed about it that they decided to give us a hand. And so later on in the summer of 2019, Cooper Tires provided us with the set of Discoverer AT3 4S. They were installed in Seattle, Washington State. The first time we drove on the AT3 4S, I must tell you, the comfort was incredible. 
these were the quieter of the lot. It was like driving on butter. At first we were not sure about the off-road capabilities because these tires are made to perform 65% on road and 35% off-road. But we managed to tackle the cold and harsh environments of Alaska and Canada with it. From Seattle, Washington, we drove all the way up to the Arctic Ocean, driving on the infamous Dempster Highway. After reaching the northernmost travelable point in Canada, Tuk Tuyak Tuk, we made a U-turn and we crossed the whole of the country from west to east, then re-entering the states near the Niagara Falls and drive all the way south to Florida, reaching the southernmost point of continental USA in Key West. The 83 4S performed really well in snow, and with this set, we could achieve the best fuel consumption of the trip so far. It was March 2020 when we all know the pandemic happened, so for a few months we'd stay still in Florida. But when the door reopened, we shipped our car to Italy and we continued to explore this country when it was possible, driving all the southern part. And we've been close to the sea, driving on the beach, on the hills, in the countryside, on the mountains, and the tires performed really well on some decent off-road. According to my experience and opinion, I believe that the 83 4S is a really good set that can take you to work during the week and then playing off-road in the weekend. We drove about 50,000 kilometers with the 83 4S, that's about 30,000 miles, and still there was over 50% of the tread depth on it. We sold those tires for charity and we used the proceeds to plant 1,175 trees. Now the downsides of the 83 4S. Our model was not a light truck, they were not that tough as the other set of tires. However, there is the option to buy an 83 LT. But despite this, we only sustained one puncture, and that happened on the infamous Dempster Highway, where it is recommended to take two sets of spare tires. This is officially the first time that I change the wheel is the most important part of my life. Dempster Highway, <laughs> making memories. Yeah! Out of all the three, this design was particularly catching a lot of stones. I regularly removed stones that are trapped in the tread. First, because another stone could eventually push that one further down, puncturing the tires. And also because uh, at speed, the stone could be thrown out and you could either damage your car, someone else's car, or even worse, hurt someone. About a year ago, we fitted our current set of tires. 5 Discover ST Max and we drove around 20,000 kilometers with it and as you can see we like to test them because they are all dirty. The ST Max are all-terrain tires. These one are also light truck. We decided to fit them because we are actually driving down to Africa so we needed a more strong tire, a more durable tire designed to be driven about 65% off-road and 35% on-road. We think that with this particular model, we found our compromise, the best tire design for our needs. We tend not to drive on mud, we prefer to avoid it if it's not necessary, because it takes its toll on the tires and on the car, as the mud can accelerate rusting of the chassis. We drive more on sand and soft ground, so this design is performing better on that kind of terrain. Also, the tread design of the ST Max makes them quieter compared to STT Pro, so you got a little bit more comfort while you are driving on the road. And they perform better also on the rain. They still have the technology that we can find on the STT Pro, like the ArmorTech carcass and also an aggressive look and some strong sidewalls. Although we tried them for less than a year and we drove the least mileage on it, we've been all the way from the Apennine Range mountain in Italy down to Greece, Bulgaria, the whole of Turkey, and we are now in Georgia, Asia. And we know that they will safely take us all the way down to Africa, because we tried them already on sand, on snow, or gravel, uh, we've done some river crossings with it, and they performed really, really well. We haven't had any punctures so far. In conclusion, and according to our very own experience, I can confirm you that Cooper Tire is a really good brand. Their tires really took us all the way around the world. I trust this brand and I highly recommend it. Try it for yourself and you won't regret it. I hope you liked the video and it did provide you with some useful information. Please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel and if you know someone that is looking to buy some tires, feel free to share this video. Thank you for watching, see you next time!